something you need to practice. You need to practice it sort of by yourself, more like... I guess the best way to do it would just be to create a custom map and have one of your units patrol and just see how often you can block it and prevent it from getting to a place. That's not as good as actually blocking in a real game, seeing as that in a real game your opponent's going to be trying to juke left and right just like you would if you were playing you know, if you were playing football or any sport. You would try to like move to one side to fake someone out. That's basically what they're going to do against you. Um, now, you'll see that Ghost is coming in to do a little harassing, and it's much like the Undead Harass. Um, he's going to come in and try to try to knock off a, f a few units, basically because in his base he is getting Griffins, and he wants to keep his opponent off of him. So he comes in, he does a bolt, he starts attacking the unit, uh, one of the bears, but he casts re uh, Rejuvenation, he's able to back up the bear. Um, so he forces Glade to cast some Rejuvenation, but he doesn't really do anything, and his hero is almost dead. And as you can see, the Demon Hunter is now blocking the Paladin. And the great thing about the blocking now is that he's able to block and attack and block and attack, and that's pretty hard to do, but it's definitely something that's easier with a hero that's that's an agility hero, and, and you can see there with the mixed slow poison and uh, naga ice arrow, whatever it's called, frozen arrow, he's able to, to, to get a kill on, on the paladin, which is which, which is great. It takes a lot of skill to pull off, uh, it's not something everyone can do, but it's something you should definitely practice, because once you learn it, you'll love doing it. It's 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 it, it, it's one of the funnest things to do in the game. Besides like surrounding stuff, like surrounding like excites you, and when you do it, you you, you know you you're like yes, I got a, a, a surround. That's so cool. Blocking is almost better. It's just it's so cool to see the unit just not not move and then die. Um, it's, it's such a great thing. If you see up up at the top now, uh, there's a blood mage, and the blood mage has actually trained siphon mana first. The reason he does that is so he can go to these creep camps and train the mana of the caster uh, creep. And if you look at the Blood Mage mana pool, it's above its it's above its top. Um, it's it it goes down pretty quickly, just like a a, a destroyer's mana does. But he's able to do this and drain the mana and constantly siphon it back to his heroes who, without brilliance or her, don't have the ability to cast their spells all the time. So it's sort of the the replacement for statues, um, just like how it, and the, the dead player has has statues that heal its its mana. The human player now with with the nuke is able to use the blood mage to drain mana and give it back to his, uh, his or give it back to the other heroes. You know, see now that he's giving it back to his paladin because he's about to drain more mana from these two ogre magi's. Um, basically, that just allows him to have full mana all, all the time and cast all the heals, bolts, um, divine shields, and just keep them fully, fully amped with with mana the whole time. Also, you'll see soon that Vanish comes into play as being a great addition to the divine shield healing combo that keeps the two heroes alive. Banish, combined with the staff, allows him to basically never lose a unit. Uh, he's able to banish a unit, preventing preventing his opponent from attacking, as well as healing the unit, um, staffing units just generally, uh, passing the staff, and st and staffing out cer cer certain units, and also, um, whether or not I said it, divi using Divine Shield to prevent them from killing the Paladin. So, with all those combined, he's able to basically never lose a unit, and it's, pr it's pretty pretty crazy, and you'll see a battle down down below that that shows you how uh, crazy that is and we'll see that shortly. You'll also notice that in that battle before Glade teleported, he cast he casted banish on the uh, Naga and if you don't know, but you probably do, uh, Griffin Riders, if you click on them, you'll see that they do magic damage and obviously all magic does more to banish and I'm pretty sure that it does more that when a unit is banished it takes more magic damage from units like Griffin, so it's doing something like double double damage or, or whatever it is. Um, I mean, they already do 45 to 55 damage, and they're doing a ton of damage to the banished unit. So, definitely another great uh, thing that makes this nuke even more powerful. Besides just the regular banished bolt, uh, you can also use the griffins to 
basically take more advantage of how strong Vanish is as a skill. Also, I'd like to make mention that um, right now he's getting Mortar Teams, um, Ghost is, because he knows that his opponent is getting Dryads. In most cases, this is good. However, you can see that there's really not a strong front line to protect them. But you'll see soon that the combo of heroes that he's using is actually a pretty strong front line and is able to keep the Demon Hunter away from the Mortars in most of the cases because of how strong Banish Bolt is. Um, and you will also see how... You'll, I mean, you'll just basically see how effective that is in battle. Uh, and there, there will be a battle shortly where you will see some good staff passing, some really good good use of Banish, and just overall strong micro by both players, but mainly mainly Ghost. There's very, some very good staff passing, and you'll, and you'll see that shortly. And you'll also see right now that Gla that uh, Ghost has came in and decided to kill the production buildings again, which limits how fast Glade can produce counters. Um, and you can see right there, he just banished and staffed his 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 uh, blood mage out. So simple to do. Just pass the staff, banish. You know he can't attack him. You have all the time in the world to staff your unit out. He's you know his, his hero's being automatically healed because of how good that staff is. It's very underrated. Um, speaking of underrated things, bash is also a very un, un uh, underrated skill. Most people think that the the stomp skill is so much better but I'll tell you that bash is a very good skill and the, the amount of damage it adds and the stun that it, that it has and how often it does that especially if you have uh, some sort of item that makes your attack quicker um, gloves of haste it's definitely a more viable skill than most people think so we have a battle here and you'll see that he just lost one griffin and you'll see that the rest of them get healed and staffed so just watch that and just see how effective it is the uh, passing the staffs and banishing and just the overall strategy. The paladin and the um, mountain king are getting low, but they are a good front line to contend with with bears. And you know, bears are very very strong, as as you guys know. Um, and <laughs> it's just it's funny how how good they are against you know uh, fighting them. And, and I don't know if you were watching the, the Mountain King's life, but the Mountain King got really low there, and then he got Banish Healed, which healed him fully. Um, at level, I think he's at level, yeah, he's at level 2 heal right now on that Paladin. Uh, you know, a Banish Heal is going to basically fully heal any any lower level heal, you know, hero, 4 or, or less. Um, also, just a, just another great, great part of this is Banish, like... Banish is sort of underestimated in this whole uh, this whole combo. Uh, like it really does double everything. It really does make everything really really intense. And getting that blood mage out as soon as possible is really really important. So basically, both players are just chilling. Not a lot to say right now. So they're both making their counters for each other's units. Uh, Griffin's obviously a good counter for bears and dryads. I mean, uh, Mortar's obviously a good counter for dryads. Though together, like I said, they don't produce a very good front line. But you'll see that overall, um, ghost units are able to put up a good a good fight. Um, also, if if you notice in Glade's base, he's currently putting up another ancient of lore. Just now, it's only half uh, halfway done, and you can look at his dryad count, and it's not as high as it probably should be. His one, he only has six, and his, his opponent has, I think, is two or three. He probably would have four mortars, but they just got rally jacked. Something you definitely definitely need to watch out for. Watch out for rally jacks. Um, but he, you know, he has two two mortars and some good heroes against those those griffin. I mean, against those uh, dryads, but because his production building was taken out and his second lore was just taken out again, um, it's going to slow down how fast he can put up that counter, which is really, really important. See another good use of the staff there. He just comes in and staffs him out and passes the staff. I think he believes he passes the staff back to his uh, hero and staffs out one of his units. Um, and with heal, bolt, um, Divine Shield and the Staffs, you're not going to lose a hero. Uh, 
right there. Another great example of, of, of